How are you today? I believe that all are full of blessings from the Lord Jesus. I would like to introduce myself. My name is Samuel Jason. I am from GKJ Pipis Luhur, Surakarta. Today, I would like to tell you a story about Jesus is tempted in the desert, which is taken from Matthew 4 verses 1 through 11. Get ready! Friends, have you ever been tempted before? Like... You are tempted to cheat when you do your exam in the school? Or you are tempted to play handphone when you are studying? Do you know that Jesus was tempted too? Jesus was tempted by devil for three times. The Spirit led Jesus into the desert to be tempted by the devil. After 40 days and nights without food, Jesus was hungry. Oh, I want to eat something. The first temptation was Satan tempting Jesus with bread. Because Satan knew Jesus was hungry. Satan said, If you are the son of God, command this stone to become bread. Jesus answered, It is written, Man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. As God, Jesus can do it, but he did not do what Satan wants, so failed. The second temptation was the devil tried to make Jesus jump off the building. Then the devil took him to the holy city and had him stand on the highest point of the temple. If you are the son of God, he said, throw yourself down, for it is written, he will command his angels concerning you, and they will lift you up in their hands, so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. Jesus answered him, It is also written, Do not put the Lord your God to the test. So again, failed. However, the devil did not give up. Again, the devil took him to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their splendor. All this I will give you, he said, if you will bow down and worship me. Jesus said to him, Away from me, Satan, for it is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Then the devil left him, and angels came and attended Jesus. From the story above, above this teaches us that as humans, we can resist every temptation. The first temptation arouses man's desire for food. The second temptation stirs up human doubts about the power and existence of God. The third temptation arouses the human desire to turn away from God with the promise of worldly power and prosperity. For that, the, the important thing is to trust God's word all the time. So that when Satan tempts us in various ways, we know what the right answer is according to God's word. Okay guys, hopefully, the story makes us stronger to face the devil's temptations. And of course, we always make God as our strength. Thank you for watching. See you again. Jesus bless you. Bye-bye.